Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. Last week I told you that I want to show you the strategy I, I put forward to um, store information or da data or video onto a Blu-ray and I noticed that um, the problem with that is that um, in my DVD anyway, over time um, the edges of the DVD uh, start to rot or the, um, the moisture and the um, temperature start to open up this edges and allow some of the uh, moisture uh, condensation to get into the edges and causing what we call rotting right and you can see I don't even see it let me just show you right now I, I don't even it's hard to see from that because uh, if I, I do a reflection you might see on the edges you see it's it's kind of darker than uh, the the inner word uh, disk okay so the one that's darker you can see there here it's losing data um, information is lost there so this is a 14 years old uh, DVD disc and I'm like okay if I'm gonna store my um, uh, data onto my blu-ray what ha what if it that thing also happened in those discs as well and it's possible because a manufacturing warranty on these discs is only up to five years and that applied to blu-ray as well even though blu-ray has a better re uh, scratch resistant I'm not sure about um, the, you know edges being um, prone to moisture and all that. Okay, now I found a strategy on even if that phenomenon uh, phenomenon do occur, you can still um, store your information onto your Blu-ray. Now remember, this is a 14 years old disc, um, uh, and it's one of those low quality DVD uh, blank discs that I burn my information in there, and um, well I guess it is poor quality you can see the edges on it however um, a blu-ray that I'm gonna store my data and it may have the same problem so here's my strategy how I found out this strategy was pure observation so notice here we I have a disc also this is a um, DVD disc that I burned my um, data in there but notice that when I burn it I don't know you can see there see you see um, uh, lighter edges between the two um, what happened here is that I burn uh, only about three gigabytes or less of data onto a 4.7 giga gigabytes of uh, uh, storage that can be uh, occupied on this disk. So I didn't maximize the full uh, 4.7 gigabytes, but only 3.0 gigabytes. So um, because of that, uh, it's it didn't go all the way to the edges, and even it what if same thing happens here on this uh, disc, right? It happened to this disc. Most likely, right? Uh, along the edges, uh, it will not affect the inner uh, uh, data that was uh, recorded. Okay, because remember when uh, the disc is recorded, go from inside and out. Okay, so if I stop my uh, recording of data up to three gigabytes instead of all the way to four point eight uh, seven gigabytes, then these edges would not matter. It would even if it have it, it will still uh, preserve the data that's inside. So I'm thinking that um, you know this is 14 years, and if this happened to this disc on a DVD disc, then um, I'm okay with that, right? Because 14 years is quite a long time, and um, the da data that's you know maybe only three gig gigabytes or less is still uh, preserved. That's amazing. So I, I thought you know I thought you know I got thinking that hey wait a minute. Uh, Blu-ray disc is um, 25 gigabytes and I don't need to burn all the way to the edges so I'll just burn maybe 16 to 20 gigabyte maximum and so just like this one it will go all the way to um, you know a third or fourth of the edges okay up to here and then uh, I'll stop recording so instead of going all the way to 25 gigabytes I'll stop maximum maybe 20 maybe I'll go only maybe 16 gigabytes and then I'll preserve that edges and even if there is a rotting that's happening, um, the data will still be preserved. And I thought that's amazing. And even um, with that, you know, loss of uh, blank disk, it's gonna cost a bit more. Obviously, uh, I can't burn to the maximum. But I do. I did the calculation. It will still cost uh, instead of two cents per gigabyte, it may be only three or four cents per gigabyte, and that's still cost effective. And you now, if it can last, you know, fifteen years, right? Um, I would say probably 20 years if I just uh, burn up to the uh, one-third or one-fourth the edges then um, 
that's amazing. 20 years of storage and I can just keep backing it up, you know, every 20 years or 15 years and I'll sort of save a lot of money. And this disk, if I put in a nice uh, location, uh, I can preserve these data. Like hard drive on the other hand and SSD drive, it, they're prone to oxidation on these metal heads and all that stuff, right? So they, there's no uh, other option than to keep backing it up every four, three to five years. Whereas this disk, now I know the strategy, I know I can preserve it for 15 to 20 years and I'll keep backing it up. Now I won't do 15, 20 years, I'll probably do t every 10 years, right, to back it up. And always, every two, three years, I'll look at the disk to see if it's uh, well preserved and there's no rotting. And it is, I'll start backing it up. But knowing that it doesn't sip into the data because I had this, um, uh, you know, error mar margin, right? The, you know, preserving, not writing all the way to uh, all to the edges and uh, only record up to, uh, for Blu-ray, for example, up to maybe 16 to 20 gigabytes instead of 25 gigabytes. All right, that, that, that's my strategy. And I think it works because of this observation that I made on these two uh, uh, DVD discs. Thanks for watching, educatetube.com.